types of geometric transformation the first one is a translation translation is nothing but moving the object from one point to another point second one is rotation rotation is nothing but to rotate the object in particular plane or particular axis lies x axis and object is revolving around x axis third one is scaling that is zoom if object is having the dimensions 1 is 1 is to 1 in xy plane and we scale or we zoom so that will do the new dimension of the object is 2 by 2 this is called scaling or zoom now the reflection or that is a mirror if along xy plane there is a one triangle and we want to reflect to another xy plane we use this kind of function is called mirror fifth one is a shear shear will come into the next slides and the last one is a concatenated or composite or combined transformations translation or move it involves moving the graphic element or object from one location to other consider a point p of x y is translated by a distance t x in the x direction and t y in y direction to new position as shown in figure therefore x dash is equals to x plus t x and y dash is equals to y plus t y then the equation in matrix form that is x dash and y dash is equals to x and y plus matrix of tx and ty now this is also in represented the translation point p dash is equal to original translation point p plus the transformation matrix now come to the next slides where p dash is equals to x dash and y dash which is equals to new position matrix where the initial original position matrix p is equals to x and y is nothing but is nothing but original position matrix and the translation matrix is t is nothing but t of matrix is equal to tx and ty of matrix now come to the next geometric transformation that is a rotation rotation is nothing but involves rotating the graphics elements from one location to other about origin that is z axis by an angle theta consider a point p of x y which is shown in figure is rotated about z axis by an angle theta is counterclockwise position p dash of x dash y dash as shown let r is equal to constant distance of the point from the origin which is shown in the again figure phi is is equal to original angular position of the point with horizontal axis now x equals to r cos phi and y equals to r sin phi now x dash equals to r cos in bracket phi plus theta bracket complete and we will expanded that uh, bracket which will come to know r cos phi into r cos theta minus r sin phi into sin theta and for the y dash point r sin in bracket phi plus theta bracket complete expanded again r sin phi multiplied by cos theta plus r sin phi multiplied by cos theta now solving the x dash is nothing but r cos phi into cos theta minus r sin of phi 
into sin theta similarly for y dash r cos phi into sin theta plus r sin phi into cos theta now uh, putting into matrix formations we know to this the x dash y dash is equals to the matrix of cos theta minus sin theta sin theta and cos theta multiplied by initial position of component x and y or in different format we can write that matrix of p dash is equals to matrix of r dash multiplied by matrix of p where p dash is nothing but x dash and y dash the equals to new position matrix and p of x y is equals to original position matrix and r is nothing but rotation matrix which is indicated that matrix of cos theta minus sin theta sin theta and cos theta now come to the scaling or zooming of the object a scaling alters the size of the graphic element or object it is used to enlarge or reduce the size of the elements let sx is equal to scaling factors in x direction and sy scaling factors in y direction that is x dash is equals to x into sx and y dash equals to y into sy the equation can be written as this format that is x dash y dash equals to matrix of sx 0 0 sy multiplied by x and y or this can be written as p dash of matrix of s and initial p where the s scaling matrix is equals to sx 0 0 sy in short we can say that the scaling matrix is nothing but s sx 0 0 sy for the xy coordinate system now come to the next slide reflection or mirror that is the transformation of the produces a mirror image of the graphic element about any axis or line various commonly used reflections are reflections about x axis reflection about y axis reflection about origin reflection about line y is equal to x reflection about y is equal to minus x uh, before going to the next slides let's uh, look in uh, early fashions about first three points that is reflection about x axis x axis now what is mean by x axis if this is your coordinate system x and y if i bow if i there is a one object or unit group a called here and i would like to reflect about this x axis so the reflection will be like this this is generally we call reflection about x axis now similarly you can say this reflection about y axis now reflection about y axis now this is your coordinate system y x and this is the triangle its initial position p1 now i would like to reflect here So this will be like this mirror image 
So this is called about y axis. Got it? Now a reflection about origin. Reflection about origin is nothing but this is your x axis. This is your origin, and this is point one, and this is where I have to reflect here. This is P1 is reflected to P2, but which passes through the origin is called reflection about origin. Okay. Now the reflection about line y is equal to x and reflection about y is equal to minus x is explained into the upcoming slides. Now going to the next slides, reflection mirror reflection about x now this is the example in we saw in previous uh, slide now the consider point p of x y is reflected about x axis to new position p dash of x dash y dash then x dash equals to x and y dash equals to minus y now x dash y dash equals to matrix of 1 0 and 0 minus 1 of x and y where the function of p dash equals to matrix of matrix of mx is function of p where mx where matrix of mx is nothing but a reflection matrix about x axis and the value is 1 0 0 minus 1 coming to the next point reflection about y axis consider a point p of x y is reflected about y axis to new position p dash x dash and y dash then x dash is equals to minus x and y dash equals to y dash which is in about the y axis now the function of x dash y dash equals to the matrix of minus value is minus 1 0 0 1 of x and y or we can say this the p dash functions is equals to matrix along y direction is nothing but in multiplied by function p where matrix of y is reflection matrix about y minus axis reflection about y axis and the value is minus one zero zero one reflection about origin consider a point p of x y is reflected about the origin to a new position p dash of x dash y dash then x dash equals to minus x and y dash equals to minus y therefore the x dash the function of x dash y dash equals to matrix of value is minus 1 0 0 minus 1 is multiplied by the initial position x uh, function of x y or we can say this way the uh, function of v dash is it multiply is equal to the matrix of origin is multiplied by the function of initial function of p where m0 is equals to a reflection matrix about origin which having the value minus 1 0 0 minus 1 now a reflection about y equals to x consider a point p x y is reflected about the line y of x to a new position p dash in bracket x dash y dash bracket complete then x dash equals to y and y dash equals to x here you can see this the reflection how they decided this is y
this is x y equals to x and this is a p1 reflected point and this is initial point how they reflected this is how they derive it reflection mirror so here we can see that x dash equals to y and y dash equals to x that is the function of x dash equals x dash and y dash is matrix of 0 1 1 0 multiplied by initial position that is x y where we can see this p dash where uh, function of p dash equals to m matrix of m of y x multiplied by initial function of p where matrix of y x is nothing but a reflection matrix about y equals to x equals to value is 0 1 1 0 this is called reflection matrix about y x in general we can see this matrix of y x is nothing but reflection matrix about reflection matrix about line y equals to x equals to 0 1 1 0 this is the reflection matrix about y x now coming to the next point reflection about line y equals to minus of x here the coordinate system is changed i will mark this here this is the coordinate system it change one axis is positive and one axis is negative this is that's why it is put it in this quadrant system now come to the explanation consider a point p of x y is reflected about the line y equals to minus x to a new position p dash x dash of y dash is equals to x dash equals to minus y and y dash equals to minus x this is what this now therefore function of x dash equals to y dash equals to matrix of 0 dash 0 minus 1 minus 1 0 now this value is hidden i will write it here this is nothing but x and y minus x and y you can see this or p dash equals to p dash or matrix m of y minus x equals to function of p where m of y x is equal to reflection matrix about y equals to minus x and the value is this now come to the next slide that is shear the shear transformation distort the shape of the graphic element such that the distorted shape appears as if the element is composed of internal layers that had been caused to slide over each other the types of the shear is x direction shear and y direction shear now i will explain with the help of the graphics suppose this is x y and this is your unit cube this is y this is x now it is now it is has been affected by the external force f along with x direction now the shear transformation would be going to like this way Thodasa tilt on the end So it is called shear in x direction. This is how it is x direction shear happen. Now come to the next slide. We will study the x direction shear and the mathematical formulation. Now the x direction shear is the consider a point P of x y is given in the figure A which is original object is subjected to shear in x direction you can see 
that is the figure A and the figure B. Here you can see the shear in x direction. Now we subjected to in x direction so that occupy position P dash <coughs> of x dash of y dash. Then x dash equals to x plus hx shx dot y and y dash equals to y where shx equals to shear parameter in x directions. Now therefore the x dash the function x dash y dash equals to matrix of 1 shx 0 1 multiplied by function x and y where the p dash function equals to matrix of hx is multiplied the initial p function where shx is matrix representation of this shx is this one 1 shx 0 1 is x direction shear matrix this is called x direction shear matrix which is nothing but the unit coup unit cube is deflected along in x direction so the it gives the deformed angle this is called x direction shear now the similar goes for the y direction shear consider a point p of x y is subjected to shear in y direction so that the occupy new position p dash of x dash y dash then x dash equals to x and y equals to y plus s h y dot x where s h y equals to shear parameter in y direction therefore function of x dash y dash equals to matrix of 1 0 s h y 1 multiplied by original function x y or we can formulate this way p dash function of p dash equals to matrix of s h y equals you know, multiplied by uh, original p function where s h y having the value this one s h y equals to matrix 1 equals to 0 1 0 s h y 1 equals to y direction shear matrix